In mathematics, and more specifically in linear algebra and functional analysis, the kernel also known as null space or null space of a linear map L, V W between two vector spaces V and W, is the set of all elements V of V for which L v equals 0, where 0 denotes the 0 vector in W that is, in set builder notation, ker L equals V element of v l v equals 0 display style cur l equals left math bf v in v mid l math bf v equals math bf 0 right text topic properties The kernel of L is a linear subspace of the domain V. In the linear map L, V W, two elements of V have the same image in W if and only if their difference lies in the kernel of L. L V 1 equals L V 2 L V 1 minus v 2 equals 0 display style l math bf v underscore 1 equals l math bf v underscore 2 left right arrow l math bf v underscore 1 math bf v underscore 2 equals math bf 0 text it follows that the image of L is isomorphic to the quotient of V by the kernel I M L V Kerr L Display style mathip mathem I'm L Kong V Kerr L text. This implies the rank nullity theorem Dim Kerr L plus Dim I M L equals Dim V Display style Dim Kur L plus Dim Mathip Mathem I'm L equals Dim V text Where, by rank we mean the dimension of the image of L, and by nullity that of the kernel of L. When V is an inner product space, the quotient V Kerr L can be identified with the orthogonal complement in V of Kerr L. This is the generalization to linear operators of the row space, or coimage, of a matrix. <laughs> <laughs> Application to modules The notion of kernel applies to the homomorphisms of modules, the latter being a generalization of the vector space over a field to that over a ring. The domain of the mapping is a module, and the kernel constitutes a submodule. Here, the concepts of rank and nullity do not necessarily apply. Topic: In functional analysis. If V and W are topological vector spaces and W is finite dimensional then a linear operator L, V W is continuous if and only if the kernel of L is a closed subspace of V. <laughs> Representation as matrix multiplication Consider a linear map represented as AM times N matrix A with coefficients in a field K, typically the field of the real numbers or of the complex numbers, and operating on column vectors X with N components over K. The kernel of this linear map is the set of solutions to the equation AX equals 0, where 0 is understood as the zero vector. The dimension of the kernel of A is called the nullity of A in set builder notation. N a equals null a equals cur a equals x 
element of k n a x equals 0 display style operator name n a equals operator name null o equals operator name cur o equals left math b f x in k caret n a math b f x equals math b f 0 right the matrix equation is equivalent to a homogeneous system of linear equations a x equals 0 a 11 x 1 plus a 12 x 2 plus plus a 1 n x n equals 0 a 21 x 1 plus a 22 x 2 plus plus a 2 n x n equals 0 a m 1 x 1 plus a m 2 x 2 plus plus a m n x n equals zero. Display style a math b f x equals math b f zero. Left right arrow. Begin aligned at seven a underscore eleven x underscore one and then plus and then a underscore twelve x underscore two and then plus c d o t s plus and then a underscore one n x underscore n and then equals and then n zero a underscore twenty one x underscore one and then plus and then a underscore twenty two x underscore two and n plus c d o t s plus and then a underscore two n x underscore n and n equals and n n zero v d o t s and n n n v d o t s and n n n v d o t s and n n n v d o t s a underscore m one x underscore one and n plus and n a underscore m two x underscore two and n plus c d o t s plus and n a underscore Minnesota x underscore n and n equals and n n zero text end aligned at thus the kernel of a is the same as the solution set to the above homogeneous equations. Topic subspace properties. The kernel of an m times n matrix A over a field K is a linear subspace of K n. That is, the kernel of A, the set null a, has the following three properties. Null a always contains the zero vector, since A O equals zero. If x element of null a and y element of null a, then x plus y element of null a. This follows from the distributivity of matrix multiplication over addition. If x element of null a and c is a scalar c element of k, then c x element of null a, since a c x. Topic c x c zero equals zero equals. Topic the row space of a matrix. equals the product x can be written in terms of the dot product of vectors as follows a x equals a 1 x a 2 x a m x 
Display style A Math BF X equals begin B matrix Math BF O underscore one C D O T Math BF X Math BF O underscore two C D O T Math BF X V D O T S Math BF O underscore M C D O T Math BF X end B matrix Here A one M denote the rows of the matrix A. It follows that X is in the kernel of A if and only if X is orthogonal or perpendicular to each of the row vectors of A, because when the dot product of two vectors is equal to zero, they are by definition orthogonal. The row space, or coimage, of a matrix A is the span of the row vectors of A by the above reasoning. The kernel of A is the orthogonal complement to the row space. That is, a vector x lies in the kernel of A if and only if it is perpendicular to every vector in the row space of A. The dimension of the row space of A is called the rank of A, and the dimension of the kernel of A is called the nullity of A. These quantities are related by the rank nullity theorem. Rank a plus nullity a equals n Display style operator name rank a plus operator name nullity a equals n. Topic left null space. The left null space or co-kernel of a matrix A consists of all vectors x such that x t a equals zero t, where t denotes the transpose of a column vector. The left null space of A is the same as the kernel of A. The left null space of A is the orthogonal complement to the column space of A, and is dual to the co-kernel of the associated linear transformation. The kernel, the row space, the column space, and the left null space of A are the four fundamental subspaces associated to the matrix A. <laughs> Non-homogeneous systems of linear equations equals The kernel also plays a role in the solution to a non-homogeneous system of linear equations A x equals B or a 11 x 1 plus 12 x 2 plus plus a 1 n x n equals b 1 a 21 x 1 plus a 22 x 2 plus plus a 2 n x n equals b 2 a m 1 x 1 plus a M two by two plus plus A M N X N equals B M display style A Math BF X equals Math BF B text or begin aligned at seven a underscore eleven x underscore one and then plus and then a underscore twelve x underscore two and then plus C D O T S plus and then a underscore one n x underscore n and then equals and then B underscore one a underscore twenty one x underscore one and then plus and then a underscore twenty two x underscore two and then plus C D O T S plus and then a underscore 2 n x underscore n and n equals and n n b underscore 2 v d o t s and n n n v d o t s and n n n v d o t s and n n n n v d o t 
TS a underscore M1 X underscore 1 and n plus and an a underscore M2 X underscore 2 and n plus CDO TS plus and an a underscore Minnesota X underscore n and n equals and an B underscore M end aligned at if U and V are two possible solutions to the above equation then a U minus V equals a U minus a V equals B minus B equals zero display style a math BF u math BF V equals a math BF u a math BF V equals math BF B math BF B equals math BF zero thus the difference of any two solutions to the equation X equals B lies in the kernel of a it follows that any solution to the equation X equals b can be expressed as the sum of a fixed solution v and an arbitrary element of the kernel. That is, the solution set to the equation x equals b is v plus x a v equals b x element of null Display style left Math BF V plus Math BF X mid A Math BF V equals Math BF B land Math BF X in operator name null a right. Geometrically, this says that the solution set to X equals B is the translation of the kernel of A by the vector V. See also Fredholm alternative and flat geometry. Equals Topic illustration equals we give here a simple illustration of computing the kernel of a matrix see the section basis below for methods better suited to more complex calculations, we also touch on the row space and its relation to the kernel. Consider the matrix A equals 2 3 5 minus 4 2 3 display style A equals begin B matrix 2 and 3 and 5 minus 4 and 2 and 3 end B matrix. The kernel of this matrix consists of all vectors x, y, z element of R3 for which 2 3 5 minus 4 2 3 x y z equals 0 0 display style begin B matrix 2 and 3 and 5 minus 4 and 2 and 3 end B matrix begin B matrix x y z end B matrix equals begin B matrix 0 0 end B matrix which can be expressed as a homo homogeneous system of linear equations involving x, y, and z, 2x plus 3y plus 5z equals 0, minus 4x plus 2y plus 3z equals 0, display style begin aligned at 7, 2x and n, plus, and n 3y and n, plus, and n 5z and n, equals, and n 0, 4x and n, plus, and n 2y and n, plus, and n 3z and n, equals, and n 0, end aligned at which can be written in matrix form as, 2350 minus 4230, display style left begin Array C C C C two and three and five and zero minus four and two and three and zero end array right. Gauss Jordan elimination reduces this to one o one sixteenth o o one and thirteen eighths zero. Display style left begin array C C C C one and zero and one sixteenth and zero zero and one and thirteen eighths and zero end array right. Rewriting yields x equals minus one sixteen z y equals minus thirteen eight z. Display style begin aligned at seven x equals and an frac one sixteen z y equals and an frac thirteen eight z end aligned at. Now we can express an element of the kernel x y z equals c minus one sixteen minus 13 8 1 display style begin b matrix x y z end b matrix equals c begin b matrix minus 1 16th minus 13 8 1 end b matrix for c a scalar since c is a free variable this can be expressed equally well as x 
y z equals c minus 1 minus 26 16 Display style begin B matrix X Y Z end B matrix equals C begin B matrix minus one minus twenty six sixteen end B matrix. The kernel of A is precisely the solution set to these equations. In this case, a line through the origin in R three, the vector minus one minus twenty six sixteen T constitutes a basis of the kernel of A. Thus, the nullity of A is one. Note also that the following dot products are 0, 2, 3, 5, minus 1, minus 26, 16, equals 0 a n d, minus 4, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 26, 16, equals 0, display style left begin array c c c 2 and 3 and 5 end array right c d o t begin b matrix minus 1, minus 26, 16 end b matrix equals 0 quad mathrm and and quad left begin array c c c minus four and two and three end array right c d o t begin b matrix minus one minus twenty six sixteen end b matrix equals zero mathrm, which illustrates that vectors in the kernel of A are orthogonal to each of the row vectors of A. These two linearly independent row vectors span the row space of A. A plane orthogonal to the vector minus one minus twenty six sixteen t. With the rank of A2, the nullity of A1, and the dimension of A3, we have an illustration of the rank nullity theorem. Examples If L, erm Rn, then the kernel of L is the solution set to a homogeneous system of linear equations. As in the above illustration, if L is the operator, L x one x two x three equals two x one plus three x two plus five x three minus Four x one plus two x two plus three x three Display style L x underscore one x underscore two x underscore three equals two x underscore one plus three x underscore two plus five x underscore three four x underscore one plus two x underscore two plus three x underscore three. Then the kernel of L is the set of solutions to the equations two x one plus Three x two plus five times three equals zero minus four by one plus two by two plus three times three equals zero. Display style begin aligned at seven two x underscore one and plus and three x underscore two and plus and five x underscore three and equals and zero four x underscore one and plus and two x underscore two and plus and three x underscore three and equals and zero end aligned at let C zero one denote the vector space of all continuous real valued functions on the interval zero one and define L C zero one R by the rule L F equals F zero point three display style L F equals F zero point three text then the kernel of L consists of all functions F element of C zero one for which F zero point three equals zero let C infinity R be the vector space of all infinitely differentiable functions R R, and let D C infinity R C infinity R be the differentiation operator D F equals D F D X 
display style df equals frac df dx text then the kernel of d consists of all functions in c infinity r whose derivatives are zero i e the set of all constant functions let r infinity be the direct product of infinitely many copies of r and let s r infinity r infinity be the shift operator s x 1 x 2 x 3 x 4 equals x 2 x 3 x 4 Display style s x underscore one x underscore two x underscore three x underscore four l dots equals x underscore two x underscore three x underscore four l dots text. Then the kernel of S is the one-dimensional subspace consisting of all vectors x one zero zero. If V is an inner product space and W is a subspace, the kernel of the orthogonal projection VW is the orthogonal complement to W in V. Topic: <laughs> Computation by Gaussian elimination. A basis of the kernel of a matrix may be computed by Gaussian elimination. For this purpose, given an M times N matrix A, we construct first the row augmented matrix A I display style left begin array C A line I end array right, where I is the N times N identity matrix. Computing its column echelon form by Gaussian elimination or any other suitable method, we get a matrix B C display style left begin array C B line C end array right. A basis of the kernel of A consists in the non-zero columns of C such that the corresponding column of B is a zero column. In fact, the computation may be stopped as soon as the upper matrix is in column echelon form. The remainder of the computation consists in changing the basis of the vector space generated by the columns whose upper part is zero. For example, suppose that A equals 10 minus 302 minus 80150 minus 140017 minus 90000. Display style a equals left begin array c c c c c c one and zero and minus three and zero and two and minus eight zero and one and five and zero and minus one and four zero and zero and zero and one and seven and minus nine zero and zero and zero and zero and zero and zero end array right. Then a i equals one zero minus three zero two minus eight zero one five zero minus one four zero 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 one seven Minus nine zero 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 one zero 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 O O one O O O O 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 O O one 
Display style left begin array C A line I end array right equals left begin array C C C C C C one and zero and minus three and zero and two and minus eight zero and one and five and zero and minus one and four zero and zero and zero and one and seven and minus nine zero and zero and zero and zero and zero and zero line one and zero and zero and zero and zero and zero zero and one and zero and zero and zero and zero zero and zero and one and zero and zero and zero zero and zero and zero and one and zero and zero zero and zero and zero and zero and one and zero zero and zero and zero and zero and zero and one end array right Putting the upper part in column echelon form by column operations on the whole matrix gives B C equals one zero 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 one zero 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 one zero 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 one zero zero three minus Two eight O one O minus five one minus four O O O one O O O O one O minus seven nine O O O O one O O O O O O one Display style left begin array C B line C end array right equals left begin array C C C C C C one and zero and zero and zero and zero and zero zero and one and zero and and zero and zero and zero zero and zero and one and zero and zero and zero zero and zero and zero and zero and zero and zero line one and zero and zero and three and minus two and eight zero and one and zero and minus five and one and minus four zero and zero and zero and one and zero and zero zero and zero and one and zero and minus seven and nine zero and zero and zero and zero and one and zero zero and zero and zero and zero and zero and one end array right the last three columns of B are zero columns therefore the three last vectors of C three minus five one zero 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 minus two one Zero minus seven one zero eight minus four zero nine zero one Display style left begin array R three minus five one zero 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 end array right left begin array R minus two one zero minus seven one zero end array right left begin array R eight minus four zero nine zero one end array right are a basis of the kernel of A. Proof that the method computes the kernel, since column operations correspond to post multiplication by invertible matrices, the fact that A I display style left begin array C A line I end array right reduces to B C display style left begin array C B line C end array right means that there exists an invertible matrix p display style p such that a i p equals b c display 
E style left begin array C A line I end array right P equals left begin array C B line C end array right with B display style B in column echelon form thus A P equals B display style A P equals B I P equals C display style I P equals C and A C equals B display style A C equals B A column vector V display style V belongs to the kernel of display style a that is a v equals 0 display style avenue equals 0 if and only b w equals 0 display style b w equals 0 where w equals P minus one V equals C minus one V Displaystyle W equals P carrot minus one V equals C carrot minus one V as B Displaystyle B is in column echelon form B W equals zero. Display style B W equals zero. If and only if the non-zero entries of W display style W correspond to the zero columns of B display style B by multiplying by C. Display style C. One may deduce that this is the case if and only if V equals C W. Display style V equals C W is a linear combination of the corresponding columns of C. Display style C. Topic. Numerical computation The problem of computing the kernel on a computer depends on the nature of the coefficients. Exact coefficients If the coefficients of the matrix are exactly given numbers, the column echelon form of the matrix may be computed by Borice algorithm more efficiently than with Gaussian elimination. It is even more efficient to use modular arithmetic and Chinese remainder theorem, which reduces the problem to several similar ones over finite fields this avoids the overhead induced by the non-linearity of the computational complexity of integer multiplication. For coefficients in a finite field, Gaussian elimination works well, but for the large matrices that occur in cryptography and Grobner basis computation, better algorithms are known, which have roughly the same computational complexity complexity, but are faster and behave better with modern computer hardware. <inaudible> <inaudible> floating point computation For matrices whose entries are floating point numbers, the problem of computing the kernel makes sense only for matrices such that the number of rows is equal to their rank. Because of the rounding errors, a floating point matrix has almost always a full rank, even when it is an approximation of a matrix of a much smaller rank. Even for a full rank matrix, it is possible to compute its kernel only if it is well conditioned, i.e., it has a low condition number. Even for a well conditioned full rank matrix, Gaussian elimination does not behave correctly, it introduces rounding errors that are too large for getting a significant result. 
As the computation of the kernel of a matrix is a special instance of solving a homogeneous system of linear equations, the kernel may be computed by any of the various algorithms designed to solve homogeneous systems. A state-of-the-art software for this purpose is the LAPAC library. See also equals equals notes <laughs>